Moving off of this, we've got this information courtesy of Kif regarding their spring, or sorry, spring summer 2023 collection, which features the one and only Adrian Brody. And I'm wondering, my question out loud is, when will you know this particular group of menswear streetwear advocates when will these guys get bored of this italian um villa iconography and imagery like when will they get bored of this i am legitimately bored of these guys infatuation with sardinia and all these type of places and driving old cars and you know drinking fucking small cortado coffees and pretending to read newspapers and shit like please get a new personality what like these all these guys discuss discover Italy at the same time did they all discover that you know there's more to Italy than just fucking Milan at the same time like what is this it really fucking annoys me I really am over it I can't hack it anymore it's fucking cringe I've had enough of it and also it only applies to a specific demographic like can I actually rock up into an Italian townhouse somewhere wearing all this stuff talking with the Isa di and all this sort of nonsense can I do that probably not because they're probably gonna think I'm the help They'll probably tell me to go pick up the grapes before they invite me inside their home, won't they? That's what they'll probably tell me to do. Hey, why don't you go tend to the garden and then pick up the grapes? That's what they're probably going to tell me to go and do. So I've had enough of this because this brings up some very, very dark memories for me <laughs> and my ancestors and what they had to go through. But, but that said, I can't hate. Adrian Brody does look fucking good. Adrian Brody looks fucking good in his shoes. He's one of the very rare um, actors out there who can put on cool clothes and actually sell it. it. Makes sense because he's one of the greatest actors of his fucking generation. But he looks supremely cool in the clothing itself and in the settings. He played his role incredibly well, but... I'm fed up of the imagery. I'm fed up of the imagery. I need these brand of menswear and streetwear advocates to go out there and find new places. Why don't they put these lookbooks in Ukraine? Why aren't they going to fucking Budapest? Why aren't they going to Prague? Like, kind of find some other places apart from Italy that you can kind of exploit and sort of piggyback off and use as an identity. I've had enough of this adult fuckboy energy shit. It's getting on my nerves. But that said the campaign and advert for it is pretty cool i'm not gonna hate on it i think it's pretty cool so this is the video um campaign taken from kiff featuring agent brody it's pretty pretty good <laughs> Invece tu sei qui, non ti nascondo che io non speravo più nel tuo ritorno. Like, come on, come on, he's got a CD Walkman. Come on now, come on. Now you're taking the piss out of my life. Really? Is this what we're doing now? We're, start, we're gonna start carrying around CD Walkmans now. I'll, put, I'll, I'll, I'll stick to my iPhone, thank you very much. Will we make it a pizza? What? Will make it? Make, will we make it a pizza? <laughs> that is not Italian. La banana immatura. La banana immatura. Mm. Oh, man. Non mi preoccupo delle altre. Eh? Non mi preoccupo delle altre. <laughs> Come on. Non mi preoccupo delle altre. Solo la famiglia è importante per me. Per me. Fuck it, say it right. Per me. Mi greto. Solo la famiglia è importante per me. Solo noi.
Now, don't get me wrong. It's well done. So big up Kiff for always putting together really cool campaign videos. They clearly invest a lot of money into those type of things. I'm pretty sure it's not the cheapest to hire Adrian Brody to front your campaign. If you're Kiff, um, essentially they are a quintessential streetwear brand operating at that kind of high level. You kind of have to give them props for doing so. And I also understand from a point of view of a brand owner, it must be difficult because Kiff essentially got started um, in the game being essentially streetwear and kind of being famous for their tracksuits, their sweatsuits and shit. And then suddenly over time, they have to kind of evolve and kind of build out their brand and obviously hope that they can take their customers along with them down the journey and basically inform their wardrobe choices as they kind of age up. But I'm just wondering, the kind of person that they're trying to attract in terms of a customer, that kind of, you know, uh, middle-aged person who maybe has a lot of disposable income to be able to buy a flipping crochet hat for $120, are they really going to be purchasing Kif though? That's the only thing that I'm thinking. Like if I have money and I have, you know, if I have disposable income and I'm into clothes, is the first thing that I'm doing buying Kif? I don't think that's the case. I'd rather go and buy like a luxury brand, a luxury fashion brand, whichever one it is out there, as opposed to going to buy Kiff because I know I'm going to get with that brand. I know what I'm going to get in terms of quality. I know what I'm going to get in terms of um, just branding and fashion and labels and whatnot. And the fact that they've been doing that kind of look a lot longer. I just don't know whether the kids who were purchasing tracksuits from Kiff all those years ago are going to be the same kids who are going to grow up thinking, I need to start looking like some guy that goes to Sardinia for my vacations from time to time, carrying bottles of wine and buying fresh produce from the local market and speaking broken Duolingo Italian. I'm not really too sure if that's the case, but I do admire and I do respect the effort to try and do so. And I feel like the risk and the kind of position that they are taking is sort of things is kind of admirable going forward. Then I also made me think, it also makes me think, um, had, having checked the page of Kif and what they've basically been able to put out there recently, it's also made me kind of admire the fact that they have this division going on at the moment where they have this collaboration, long-standing collaboration with Adidas Originals, where they essentially have Kif classics that they produce every season. And I feel like this is a really interesting way to approach collabs, where instead of doing one-off projects where you have the most crazy colorways of a shoe, you do crazy materials, you have crazy drops and whatnot, you just take a really classic silhouette, a really classic shape, like Adidas Samba here features on the screen, and you basically iterate and ideate and do little tweaks every season and kind of adapt them to your overall brand. So maybe it's not as kind of crazy and full of the bells and whistles that you would expect to see from other collaborations, but it fits in well and nicely into what flipping Kif do on like a normal daily basis, right? It kind of fits into the color palette that they have, the tones, the shapes, the hues and whatnot. And it's something that can kind of be carried through season in season out. I really do like this approach and I'm interested to see if a brand like Nike will decide to do the same thing because Adidas, I feel like, takes more chances because they're not the number one brand that they can kind of ideate and kind of try more interesting things to try to overtake Nike in that kind of competition. But I would love to see Nike do the similar sort of thing with brands going forward. They kind of had the same thing now with Supreme where they essentially have you know a long-standing relationship with supreme where they have those air force ones that they produce for them every season the white and black air force ones with a little box logo at the bottom but i would love to see nike do something similar with other brands because i feel this like adidas collaboration that they do with kiff with these kiff classics it's a really really cool idea and they've also got the same idea going forward with the paid adidas superstars which for me might be my favorite apart from the glazer because you know as much as I love the Samba, um, I feel like Ayla Superstar kind of fits my fat feet a lot better. But I do like the idea of it. I'm just fed up with the flipping Italian iconography. But I do really appreciate these and what they're doing. So big up Kif and big up what they're doing. I'd love to see it. Hopefully we see more as we progress. Hopefully we see more as we progress. Next.